This is the workout room located in Stallings Fire Station. Firefighters sometimes must do very physical things in their line of work, so training is vital. For volunteers, the fire station will work with you and help you train, so no need to worry about not being strong enough. The fire trucks are kept in the main bay. In this area, the trucks can be worked on, refueled, and kept ready for their job. While on duty, firefighters keep their equipment on the fire truck so everything is ready to go in case of an emergency. Every station is outfitted with a full kitchen where the firefighters can both cook and enjoy meals while on duty. Stallings Fire Station has four fully operational fire trucks. Each of these can be used at any given time and each carry any equipment that could be needed in the case of an emergency. Volunteers uh, greatly reduces the amount of part-time people we have and uh, save, save on budget. Uh, we are a tax-based department, so all of our funding comes from taxes. So the, the least amount we charge our citizens as far as taxes to provide a service are better. The volunteers are great to help with that. If anyone out there is interested in volunteering to help their community, I highly suggest contacting your local fire department. Uh, here at Stowns, we're always open to uh, take additional members and looking for good help. Uh, if you think you might want to make a career of being a firefighter, I also encourage that. And being a volunteer helps uh, in that career path for years to come. Like Officer Kinley said, volunteers are needed. Firefighters assist in not only fires, but car crashes and any other emergency as well. Firefighting is an honorable profession, and you can benefit your community in many ways. All kinds of people become firefighters, so don't feel like you are unqualified or would be unable to help because anyone can be a blessing. If interested, contact Brian Kinley, and I hope that you will consider helping your community by becoming a volunteer firefighter.